You've probably noticed there are often lines painted on the road. These road markings have different meanings, so it's important that you understand what they are telling you. Many roads are painted with broken white lines and single continuous lines in the centre of the road. These are dividing lines. They show you where the centre of the road is, so traffic going in two directions can stay separate. But the type of line makes a difference too. When there is a broken white line, you must keep to the left of the lines and drive as close to the left side of the road as you can. You can drive across the line if you are entering or leaving the road. You can overtake another vehicle or make a U-turn as long as it's safe. If there is a single continuous line, like this one, you can cross the line to enter or leave the road, but you cannot overtake or make a U-turn. When there are double continuous white lines, two lines together, you must always stay to the left of these lines. You are not allowed to cross them for any reason. You must not cross them to leave or enter the road and you must not overtake or make a U-turn. When there are two white lines and one is continuous and the other is broken, you need to take note of which line is closest to you. If the broken line is closest to you, you may cross the lines to overtake, make a U-turn, enter or leave the road as long as it's safe. So, it's just as if you've had a single broken line in the centre of the road. But, if the continuous line is closest to you, you must not overtake or make a U-turn. You are still allowed to cross the lines to enter or leave the road. If you are parking on the side of the road, you must pay attention to the lines in the centre of the road. You may only park on the side of the road if there is a broken white line in the centre of the road. Any of the other dividing lines means you cannot park on the side of the road unless there is at least three metres between your car and the dividing line, or if there is a parking sign that indicates something else. On a road with more than one lane of traffic going in one direction, broken white lines separate the lanes. You may change lanes if you signal with your indicators and it is safe to do so, but you must give way to any vehicle that is already in the lane. Sometimes, on these roads, overhead signals are used. You may only drive in the lanes with a white or a green arrow or a speed limit sign. Stay out of the lanes with a red cross. If there are no lines on the road to separate the lanes and there are two or more lines of traffic, going in the same direction, you should still stay in your line. Don't move all over the road. If you want to change which line of traffic you're in, you need to signal first. You shouldn't overtake cars on the left side unless there is a car turning right or it is stopped and it is safe for you to pass by on the left. It's not just lines that you see painted on the road. You may also see arrows painted on the road at some intersections. They tell you which direction the traffic in each lane must go. If two directions are shown, like here, you are allowed to go either way. So here, you can go straight ahead or turn left, but you're not allowed to turn right. There might be special markings on the road for bicycles. There could be arrows in bicycle lanes, or sometimes a head start area is called a bicycle storage area. It is provided for bicycles so that cyclists can be easily seen by drivers when they are stopped at the traffic lights. This improves safety for cyclists on the road. You may also see traffic islands painted on the road before a right turning lane, like this. You are allowed to drive over the painted traffic island or stop to wait on it, as long as there are no double lines outlining the island on the left. But if you are stopped on a painted traffic island, you have to give way to any vehicle using the turning lane. You should only drive on the painted traffic island to turn right if there is a lot of traffic. The last painted road markings we'll look at are these ones. Broken white lines across the road at an intersection mean the same as a giveaway sign. 
A thick solid white line across the road at an intersection means the same as a stop sign. Sometimes there will be a sign there as well, but even if there is no sign, these road markings tell you if you should stop and give way. <laughs>